Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 12th of October 2015 and this is a follow-up to my video that I uploaded yesterday debunking claims that the moon was a flat disk according to some flat earth believers. Now in the video that I uploaded yesterday I used this plastic disk to cast a shadow, a curved shadow on a balloon representing the moon. Okay, because some of the flat earthers believe that the moon must be a flat disk because they say that you can't cast a, uh, a curved shadow from a spherical object being the earth on another spherical object being the moon. They say it doesn't work. Well, I demonstrated in yesterday's video, just as I'm doing here, that you can in fact cast a shadow, a curved shadow, on a spherical object, um, and in this case we're using a balloon. But of course, you know, I didn't think just like a flat earther might think um, that somehow, because I'm using a, fl a flat disc, okay, that somehow, because it's not a sphere, it's not going to cast the same sort of shadow as a sphere would, like this, okay? Smiley face, squeezy ball, okay? So, here we are again, having to show the most basic of experiments to show flat earthers that a spherical object such as Mr. Squeezy here will actually cast a curved shadow. So let me just bring that up. There is our curved shadow and you know just like a disc it casts a curved shadow right across okay so there is no difference between using a flat disc face on or using a spherical object like Mr. Squeezy here. Okay. Now it, it just you know makes me wonder what goes on inside these people's heads. What sort of difference would you expect between using a a disc like this or a spherical object like this if I can get them both in frame okay what difference would you expect alright they're both round when they're face on aren't they so why would you expect a different shape shadow using a spherical object like this squeezy ball here would you expect to see a a flat shadow would you expect to see a square shadow? Just what sort of shadow would you expect from a spherical object casting a shadow on another spherical object? It just beggars belief. But anyway, that teaches me a lesson on how I have to think like a complete idiot when I make these videos. Because only a complete idiot would say, Oh, well, you didn't use a sphere. It's not going to cast the same sort of shadow as if you used a sphere. Well, there it is, okay? Um, my apologies for my sarcasm, but I guess my patience is running out when I have to deal with idiots like this who can't see that a shadow from a round disc is going to cast a round shadow just like a sphere will. So there we have it. Enough of my ranting. Um, there is your round shadow, curved shadow on a spherical object. And just like last night, what I'll do is I'll turn the balloon around so that you can see that it is indeed a spherical object. There we go. Let's turn it right around. There's the balloon. Back again. So, as you can see, it is spherical, and there is a, you probably can't see it because I'm too far away, but there is the curved shadow. As always, to check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex, you'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.